Okay. Uh, we are um, we're live. Are we live? We're live. I think we're live. Welcome back to uh, Two Rights Make... Which camera is my one? Two Rights Make <laughs> a Wrong. Um, that's Daniel. And I'm Russell. That's Russell. Yep. Um, and welcome back. And we got uh, we got the crew. We got the crew as always. We the got crew. Uh, we have the whole crew. We do today. have the full crew. We got uh, Lilo over there. We got Carl, and we got Jay Luther over there. They're all here. Welcome, guys. How have you guys been since uh, we haven't seen each other in this capacity since Easter? Hmm. Right? Is that what happened? I think that was the last time we were together. Yeah. That's so how you guys doing? I am. Well, Jay exists. <laughs> uh, everybody else. I'm not mic'd up. So they're, uh, <laughs> and Lilo's not mic'd Definitely up. It would be hard to get her mic'd up. So we're, uh, we're, we're, we're down one mic at the moment. We're getting well, bigger. Well, do you think, do you think we better. should, we, do you think we should like put that like right in the center of you two and then put it on the <coughs> both side? I think. Yeah. Well, you know what? I, you're, it doesn't mean anything until the second person says it. <laughs> I definitely think that they should just kind of like you know, push it back to each Jeez other. Louise, careful, guy. And maybe they'll get hit in the face. I'm not. Somebody. We got this. It's okay. <laughs> um. So, anyways, so while they're figuring that out, um. No, wait, wait for the, wait for them to figure this out before you do that. Do what? Do what you're about to do. Why? I don't know. I mean, I guess go for it. Okay. What well, are you doing? I have an apology to the Rock. Oh. For once. Okay. I have an apology, too, I actually realized. But you go for it. What do you need okay, to well, apologize to The Rock for? I want to apologize to Dwayne The Rock Johnson for continuously calling him Dwayne. Dwayne. Even though I do have a point to that Duane. later on, Dwayne. But the re- real reason why I'm apologizing is because it made you depict him as some southern oil tycoon person. Yeah. Which I don't know if he wants to be associated with that type of livelihood so i mean you know what i don't think the rock would have a problem being southern (laughs) okay you know what i mean i think the rock could actually do pretty good with a southern accent Um, so you say you're good at impressions yeah give me dwayne the rock johnson i'm good at impressions i can practice by the way with a southern accent Dwayne the Rock Johnson with a southern accent. I don't even know if I can do the Rock at the moment. Um, yeah, I can't even do it. Okay, so I can't do that one at the moment. Okay. So I have to practice. Maybe next episode. So you suck. Maybe next week. God, that's what that's what we've learned is that you suck. Well, no, she's you can't just throw me random things. That's not what I do. If you smell what the Rock is cooking, <laughs> that was, y'all, y'all come to the house and smell what Grandma Rock is cooking. That was worse than you not even trying. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> what happens. That was that was bad. All right, cool. Yeah, good talk. So, what Grandma what do you have to apologize for? Actually, uh, this is going back many episodes. Many episodes. And this is it, many episodes. I think the first episode we came out with. Okay. I want to apologize to Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh. Because, and the reason for it is, it's it's. I made a bit. We were talking about space stuff. And you said, because Neil deGrasse Tyson said, and I interjected, and I said, this is not his personal field of study, right? Like, making a big deal about that. Yeah. Like, we got to throw that out you, there, the you, disclaimer. You did do that, yeah. I want to apologize because... Because it is his field of study? No, 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 no. no. I want to apologize because I made a big stink about everybody knowing that that is not his field of study while I'm just talking out of my ass. Yeah. You, like, it's not, definitely not my field of study. I mean, your field of study is talking out of your rump. Yeah. That, that, so you could talk about anything you want and you don't have to apologize for it yeah. moving forward because that is your field of specialty. Yeah. Which brings me to something else here. Do you want to, like, should we discuss what this is? What, what is? The podcast. I what mean, this is. Sure. Okay. What is it? I thought you was just like, do you want to do a podcast? I'm like, okay. Well, and then we just started accumulating random pieces of equipment. Yeah. Um. So, 
But there is more to it. Even though we're not exactly the funniest people in the world, we're getting better at it. But it's supposed to be comedic. It's supposed to be. Yeah. Because comedy is subjective. But it's supposed to be funny and also somewhat informative. Somewhat. Only somewhat. But I can tell you that like, I'm always just going to talk out of my ass. And you, you, you got, you're inquisitive and curious to the point where, like, it's going to be hard for you to talk out of your ass like that. Yeah. So there's that. So I, I want people to understand that. Like, we have no formal education. Well, I'm going to repeat this. We have no formal education. Your college means nothing. I have two art degrees, man. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's not knowledge. <laughs> it was It was essentially just a place to practice stuff. Great. You're on the yeah. same level as me at that point. Yeah. Like, you ha- you've paid a lot of money to practice things. To be creative. Yeah. And I'm already doing that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, congrats. congrats. Um, so, we are not highly educated people. We can sometimes be informed. Right? Or we try to become informed. Sure. I mean, yeah, we try to become informed, but again, where do we learn most of our stuff from? The internet. Yeah. What's always right? Well, in books. The internet. I don't learn from books. Well, that's a problem. Yeah. But also, even books are getting outdated and they're all wrong now. Well, yeah, that's why you got to keep up with things. So, like, um, for instance, since episode one, I found this out, and I didn't realize. I didn't. Re- I I feel ashamed that I didn't know this. Um, string theory is not the thing that the science community just likes. That is not that is not something that the science community says. Yeah, that's how the universe was created. Like apparently, they think less of that than the than I don't know. But they don't enjoy the string theory because nobody can explain it. Right. Well, isn't it like it's I don't even know what the word is. What's what's uh, Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory? What is his field? A physicist? No, but like it's... A theoretical it's, physicist? Yeah, so like those types of people like the string theory. Not even a- really. Applied scientists. <laughs> like it's not even like really. <laughs> Apparently it's like most of the science community is just kind of still hanging on to string theory just because it was brought up at one point and they can't be told that they were wrong. That's what I kind of get out of that. The philosophical scientists, if you will. Yeah. I guess the really theoretical ones, you know. Yeah. So there's that. Um, and I I am going to say this out here. And, and one more thing regarding what the podcast is. And I might make some of my friends a little upset by this. And at a certain point, I'm okay with that for this reason. This is a podcast, guys. This isn't this is a two-way discussion between me and him and the people behind those cameras over there. Uh I appreciate everybody that listens to the podcast. I love you all. Thanks for the help. But if you're texting me personally about things you want to talk about, don't do that, please. Get in the comments. Get in the comments. That's how we oh, can do that. Like yeah, don't seriously. Like if you want to talk about the things we talk about on the podcast, do it for the podcast, please. Get in the comments. Yeah. Don't text me. Don't text me about your opinions on the things I said. Like that's yeah. Drum up. Dr- help us drum up the the followers and the, and the stuff yeah, on the like, YouTube's. I love talking to certain people. Like I I can definitely converse a long time about a lot of different topics. And if you want to talk to me about something random, cool. But don't be like, hey, I listened to this episode and you said this, and now you start a whole conversation. Please get in the comments for that. Like that, not only that, but like we'll have the conversation and it helps out the podcast. So please do that. I just, I just want to say that. It's like, yeah. stop talking to me outside of the podcast about the podcast. That's, stuff. A, good, that's a good call out. I just, I just want to say that. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Um, and then, side note, both of those cameras are recording, correct? Can you guys just check to make sure that <laughs> they just, they haven't been? I, I've been like cool. staring straight into that Perfect. camera and it hasn't <laughs> been recording. I, was say, I know for sure that one was. Right, I cool. wasn't looking at that. I pushed them at the same time, but didn't even look at them, so I was okay. just making sure. So that's that's my stuff about two rights today. 
All right, cool. Um, well, I'm gonna before we move on to any more conversations. Oh, though, and and one last thing for the people that don't know who we are, we're called Two Rights Make a Wrong for a purpose. We don't know what we're talking about, almost ever. Yeah. So we are going to be wrong, always. Yeah. So now, anyway. All right, and before we get on to any more conversations, I I have a gift for you. You have a gift. I have a gift for you. Okay. I have one for myself as well. You can't get yourself a gift. Yeah, That's well, weird. then can you here hand this to me? I didn't get you a gift. Give this though. to me. Hey, Nigel okay. or someone else. I say, I don't Carl, I got you a gift. No, 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 no. Here's your gift. Give me my gift. Thank you. Oh my gosh. A gift for you. Thank I guess. you. Is this a shirt? Did you get two rights shirts? I did not get two rights shirts. Oh, you got hats though. That's pretty cool, actually. Cool. Do you hate it? Well, I'm gonna destroy it. Why? Because it's a flat brimmed hat. Okay. Who wants one of those? Me. I mean, we can give it to Nigel. <laughs> this is why I'm an ungrateful bastard. I've ruined multiple holidays of gift giving you because really I has. am ungrateful. I don't enjoy things that people just think that they can get me. Um. Well, the only thing I that really am a horrible person to give gifts to. Yeah, the Don't. only reason, and I knew that you didn't like flat brimmed hats, but the I wanted to do the leather patches, and the only ones with leather patches were flat brimmed hats. Mm. So. Well, I'm still gonna destroy it. Probably, I'm gonna fucking bend the fuck out of this rim. Yeah, but mom couldn't tell which one was you and which one was me. That's pretty sad, isn't it? I mean, kinda. Because only one of us has glasses. Yeah. That is, yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, I thought that was a beard. Well, I'm like, what? But I can tell you that's not your smile. So I can see how that was confusing. It her. is my mouth, though. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Show those to the camera real nicely. Here. Look at this one. Cool. That's actually pretty nifty. So are you, gonna gonna actu are you actually going to destroy it, or are you just going to modify it? I'm going to modify it. Okay. I mean, I'm going to say, like, the hat connoisseurs are going to have a heart attack when they see me do this right now. Yeah. Now she's going to switch it out. Yeah, me too. Um, oh, and we all take the stickers off. Dude, we are just the worst hat people in existence, aren't we? Well, speaking of, like, I leave Somebody get me a really nice pair of shoes. Who? <laughs> are you going to take the... What? Are you going to take the thing out of the front, too? There's a th oh yeah we should do that. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's not bad. This kind of looks like a newsboy hat. Oh, I actually think I I think it can actually fits better if you bend it a little bit. It's a very. I don't know. I think you have a huge head. It fits your head better. Okay. I mean, it is adjustable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna make it smaller. Yeah. Happy birthday. Merry Christmas. Thanks. Happy Kwanzaa. Thanks. It's, uh, I don't expect that. It's kinda, it's, that's an interesting... It's a decent try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that. Thank you. How does it look? It doesn't look terrible. The hat doesn't look terrible. You look pretty terrible. Yeah, I didn't. There's nothing you can really do about that, though, can you? No. I was born this way. Yeah. Well, cool. Anyway. Right. Nice nice hats. Yeah. That's that's exciting. Cool. Um, I don't know how to segue that into anything else. Well, speaking of mom, though, who couldn't tell which one of us was on which side of this hat. That's how we were speaking of her. Okay. Yeah. So, um... Did she, so she just recently traveled. Yeah. And did she tell you about her first ever experience getting an Uber? No. No? Okay. So she was telling me this yesterday. She got an Uber for the first time and she was looking at like the name and she's like, I don't know. And it's like a black Camry. She's like, I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to tell which black Camry is supposed to be picking me up. There's so many of them. And she couldn't pronounce even the name because it was just a bunch of random letters. And she's like, it's just, it's like, it must be some like Indian guy because I don't know how to pronounce this name at all. And so the car pulls up and the car's like waving at her. 
And so she goes up are, and she's like, are you my ride? Because she didn't know how to pronounce the name. And he's like, I'm going to this address. She's like, yep, that's where I'm going. Takes her to the to the hotel. And she's telling other people, her coworkers, about the Uber. And they're like, well, didn't... And she's like, how do you guys know which car is supposed to pick you up? And they're like, well, didn't it give you a license plate number? She's like, no, it just gave me the, the driver's name. The, the random letters. The random letters was the driver's this, license this number. Guy's name is Ryan. I'm just like... I'm like, and I'm like, mom, were there numbers in it? And she goes, no, there weren't numbers. I'm like, okay, at least there weren't numbers in it. So, yeah, that was kind of. I mean, our parents are getting old. What do you expect from them? Yeah, they are. They are getting old. That's, that's great, I guess. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what to say about that. Yeah, I just thought, you, I thought maybe you would have laughed a little bit about that. I mean, it, it's just too true. Like I don't know what to do. Right. I don't know what to do about these people upstairs. They're just trying their best. They're trying their best. They are. It's wholesome though. That's a wholesome yeah. story. <laughs> that's, a wh- <laughs> that's a wholesome story. Yeah. So, I mean, sh- sh- sure. I'll g- we'll go with that. <laughs> it's wholesome. What other stories you got? Um, I mean, I have a ton of here on here. Do you want me to just keep going through my list? Yeah, sure, I guess. Well, speaking I of a wholesome story, uh, Lilo, without looking at it and without giving too much away, there is a piece of paper inside that suitcase next to you. Would you be able to grab that piece of paper for me? Uh, it's it's right there. There's like hats and wires inside of it right behind you. Like turn to your left and look down. So... I was recently sent a letter. I don't know if this is actually from Amazon. That is it. That's the one. I don't know if this was actually from Amazon, but it's essentially don't 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 hand it to him. Don't hand it to him. <laughs> hand it to me. Why? I want it. No, because I'll, I'll, I got to show it to you. So I was offered the opportunity to become an like official Amazon reviewer. I don't know what that means. It's like they essentially send you products. And Wait, you, why? I, again, I don't think it was real. Okay. I, like I think it's some sort of fake thing, but and mind you, I do have my bomb box, but I have not purchased anything for my bomb box in a very, very long time. Is this Adam and Eve reaching out? It's not Adam Are and they Eve trying to reach out to us. But this is the products that they sent that they want me to review. <laughs> it's a bunch of sex toys. Ah, uh, so, um, I don't know. I mean, we could probably get away with showing these on YouTube, but I am going, there is a very heavy duty intensive, I think that's a cock ring. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. And then it vibrates a ton. Well, right. It would be, that's why it's like intensive. Yeah. They got uh, a rabbit vibrating dildo with the clit stimulator. They've got. Legitimate regular cock rings, just the, what looks like silicon cock rings. That is like one of those uh, sucking roses things. Uh, we got a flashlight down there. We got uh, another heavy duty uh, dildo, another flashlight. And that looks like an acne sucker, that last one. That one, I mean, it's like a clit sucker, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So, um,. I like how it says, dear member. Like, yeah. they know exactly what part of your body that they are <laughs> going dear for. Dear member, yeah. Yep, <laughs> dear member. Congratulations, you have been selected to join the Early Re- Reviewer Project. The Early Reviewer Project encourages customers to test the new hot releases and share their authentic experience about that product. Reviewers got full refund through Amazon gift card for every item they test in 24 hours number of participants available is limited and they will be given out on a first come first serve basis yeah this is a fucking scam so what they just told you is, is that you have to buy it and they want you to buy it gonna get yeah. reimbursed yeah uh-huh it's so funny that it's a bunch of sex toys though yeah they should have like done something where like it's actually like appealing to essentially everyone like they'd get me if it was like this is the switch N- two why don't or, you try it or naruto sure or one piece yeah just anything One Piece related, you'd do it. Yeah. Yeah. That'd probably be it. So like, what? here, let us 
Oda wants you to review the next arc. And uh, if you purchase volume something that's not out yet, like 112, I don't know, I'm talking out of my ass still. Go for it. Go for what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just gave you a segue. For what? For Amazon? For sex toys? I said One Piece. What about One Piece? Have you been watching One Piece? I watched One Piece. I watched how, like how ten. Much? I watched ten episodes yesterday or two days. Ago. Oh, that's good because I was going to say I talked to you like two days ago and you haven't. On watched Thursday, anymore. I watched ten episodes. So where are you at? I'm on. They just defeated Arlong. They just defeated Arlong. Mm-hmm. Okay, are you hooked? No. No, not yet. Mm-hmm. Dude, Nami asking fucking Luffy for help. That wasn't awesome. No. Wow, you're a heartless bitch. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that spectacular. It. Carl. I mean, but like the whole time, I could tell oh, that she, I, I could tell that she still cared about them, and it's like, and she had this whole story like that, and she actually, I don't think she even helped asked Luffy for help. He just decided he was going to help. She never asked for any help. Uh, she is crying on the ground, and she goes, Luffy. Help me. Does she? Oh. And then he puts the hat on her and he goes, oh. of course. Yeah, I remember. And then they that. all squat up and it's one of the best squat ups I remember, in all of it. I remember that part. And then she's like, she, then there's a the little flashback to him like, never touch my hat. Mm-hmm. And the hat's on and that's, she's like, oh, he really cares. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. It was one of the coolest. It's one of the coolest. Let's just stop watching but One so, Piece. But, okay, so but can I ask you a question? If you think that's one of the coolest like moments, whatever. It's not. I mean, okay. But it is, but it, yeah. Did you think it was one of the coolest moments it's ever? Like, the first time you watched the show? Yeah, really. It's like it's like the moment no. that I was like, oh, these these kids are awesome. Mm-hmm. Like this is awesome. But this is more than just an adventure. But honestly, like that's kind of what that that moment was like. Oh, this is more than just an adventure. We've got we've got some real heavy emotion here. I honestly think that like I think I does Usopp ever actually become any sort of competent? <laughs> Cause you, you could, I think I he really kind of ruins the show for me. To Dude, be honest, I mean you're watching in English. I'm, so all of the voices are ruining it for you. I mean, so f- at least he's that. Krillin. Um, is is Arlong um Hercules? By the way, I in English I have no idea. Oh, you haven't you have you never watched it in English? No. Oh, okay. Have you? Okay. I can tell you. Well, you have like a disgusted look on your face, Carl. Yeah, because you're I watching it in like English. The English and you're actors. not happy about it right now. You're not happy about one of the top like 10 emotional moments of the series. You're you just say, like, no. Nah. You say that you, Usopp is Krillin? In English. Because in Japanese, Luffy, Luffy is, is Krillin. Krillin. Yeah, yeah, you told me that. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is Zoro still Vegeta? Or Piccolo? Piccolo? Yeah, Piccolo. That's Vegeta. Oh, is it? It's Christopher Sabat. Yep. Oh, I didn't know Piccolo and Vegeta were the same. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. All right. Then yes. Okay. Yeah, because it is it is in Japanese as well. Okay. The the, the voice actor of uh, Piccolo is Zoro. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it's it's fine. It's It was the Arlong story was more interesting to me than the rest of what i've watched so far yeah because now things start getting things start to open up but like i want to see like i i think i'll maybe enjoy it more when they get to like the grand line and all that kind of stuff well yeah the grand line is pretty dope so so but yeah i mean alabaster is really cool yeah you're that's what you're going into next but again i'm just not i'm not i'm not emotionally invested in these characters at all that's okay This is already going to be a sad and disappointing process for me, I can tell. I'm sorry. It's okay. What else can we get you into, then? Oh, Carl doesn't want me to watch anything if it's going to be in English. Well, some things are okay in English. This is, like, literally the most, like, just... You look like you just have hate in your face right now. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I don't like most of the English voices of most animes. Okay. I don't even like English voices of most English people. Yeah, just people. Yeah. I uh I think it's an interesting it's just it's just weird and I think 
and I actually think it's because I don't understand Japanese is how I do it. My big my big theory on that is if it sounds corny and bad, like I know what that sounds like in 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 English. It sounds horrible, right? But if something sounds corny in Japanese, I don't know if it's that corny because I don't know what they're saying. Okay. So I don't. I, that's why I think. Uh, Japanese voice acting isn't as good as English. It's because English people just ruin things for me oh, yeah. too easily. That makes sense. I mean, I, I that makes sense. I get that. Um, which is like, which is funny because like, there's a character in One Piece. Um, I'm not gonna tell you his name or anything like that. Um, but he apparently the voice actor. I mean, the show's been on for 25 years, right? And not. A lot of the voice actors were young people when they started this journey. So now they're old, Uh right? Like they're old. And apparently one of the characters, like a lot of people have been complaining about the most recent episodes of One Piece because the character, it's like the voice actor is just having a hard time talking. But I can't tell that. I can't tell that he's slurring words and he's not pronouncing things correctly. It's Japanese. I don't know. Right. So, like, I guess, I guess that's a problem. We'll see what happens with it. And that's like, it's actually one of the big things the voice actors, the Japanese voice actors, are like yelling about. Is like, dude, finish the thing, finish the story before we die, because we love the story and we want to ride it out. But you gotta finish before we die. Like the voice actor for fucking Luffy, actress, my bad, for for Luffy, she's like, what? She just turned sixty nine, seventy nine, somewhere around there. She's old. That's crazy. And yeah, which is yeah, it's. And especially to have, like, it's one thing for them to continue working and not dying, but it's another thing for them to have the energy to be Luffy. Mm-hmm. That makes sense, yeah. Because that's, I mean, he's an energetic guy. Yeah, well, and later on in the series, he just be cre- progressively just becomes a little bit feistier and angrier, and he just it yells a lot more. Mm-hmm. Because it's just, he, there's no more fun that happens at a certain point in the series. Yeah. It's like, uh, and and voice voice acting anime is really I feel like difficult because of how much yelling they do. Like I know for a fact that like people just pass the fuck out. Like Sean Shemmel, that's the guy that uh voices uh Goku, the English guy that voices Engl- uh, Goku. He passed out. He's definitely passed out. Um, I know for a fact when he was recording um Super Saiyan three. <coughs> He just passed the fuck out in the in the recording studio. So, voice acting's a crazy gig. I'd love to do that, actually. Um. But yeah, there are some anime that I think you can watch in English. I think don't uh, the Rising of the Shield Hero. That one won um, some awards. Well, the problem is, is season one won awards for how well that voice actor did. And then he's dead. He died. He had cancer. Mm. And he was replaced. But uh, I guess it's still decent. The voice act- the English voice acting is done pretty decent for the rising of the shield hero. Um, did you, speaking of people we like that had cancer, did you hear that Olivia Munn had cancer? Had ca- cancer? No, no. I think she just got rid of it. Okay. I can't remember. She had a, I think she had a double mastectomy. Okay. Yeah, I d- just found that out. That was kind of sad to hear. Good for her. Right. No. Yeah. yeah well, yeah. No. no. You say good for her in a situation like this because she survived and she's a okay. warrior. Okay. Right. Yeah. It's good for her. Okay. In that sense, yes. She's funny. She is. She's a funny. She's a funny character. I mean, we will, that we know her all the way back from G4 TV. Oh, probably before that. Mm. Probably before that. We probably saw her on the television dancing. She was a Dallas Cowboy c- cheerleader. Was she? Mm-hmm. I did not know that. Yeah. Mm. She was a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader before she was on G4 TV. Cool. Good for her. Yeah. That's a good for her. Yeah. 
No, she's married. Which is also weird here in Wisconsin because she dared, dated Aaron Rodgers. Which seems like she dated Aaron Rodgers like last year. It was a lot longer. I know it was a lot that, longer though. ago, but it seems like it was just last year, and it's just like, and but it also seems like last year he was dating Danica Patrick. No, I think last year was the, the Shailene Woodley. What's I her name? Don't know who that is. Yeah, Shailene Woodley. Are they married now officially? Did they even break up? Is Aaron Rodgers single? I feel like that guy needs to be single. Why? Because I, th- from the way from some of the interviews and the way uh, things I've seen him talk, it's just I just personally think he'd be better off in life as single. I just think he's got it ju- it's just he's that type of dude. He's just that type of dude. Okay. I think I think he could just do better um, with himself, just being by himself and doing the things that he wants and needs to do. Okay, I don't have that assessment but i don't have the opposite assessment either so i think i think some people are like that and i think there's a lot more people that need to be told that and that it's okay it's okay for you to not be with somebody you know what i mean okay apparently you don't Tune in, ne- sure. tune in next week for the apology to Aaron Raj. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there is, uh, we there. don't have Mario Kart for Nintendo 64, right? Or for, or for, what do you su- mean by Super that? Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Yeah, the we, actual game. Yeah. What do we? Yeah. Do we have the instruction book at somewhere? I don't know about that. Probably, Carl. Is that something you might have? The original? I don't think so. The original? Okay. I think so. All right. I think it's somewhere. Why? Did they had? Did they have battles? The balloon battle in the in the original one for Super Nintendo? Yeah, they did. Okay. So I want to find out if this is true. I want to see an actual hard copy of it, because I want to ask you guys. Looking at the other, when you played multiplayer on the same screen, is looking at the other person's screen cheating? Yeah. Yeah. It is cheating. You're yeah. you're saying it's cheating. Yeah. Well, in Mario Kart Battle, in the instructions on how to win, apparently it's been circulated around the internet that in the booklet it says make sure you keep an eye on your opponent's screen. Okay. So it's not cheating. Cuz it's in the rules. No, Nintendo's just cheating. Yeah. <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> puts really weird things in their instruction booklets though sometimes. But is that but is that cheating in Mario Yeah, they Kart named then? Link 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 and Mario and Luigi Mario Mario and Luigi Mario. So who cares what anything about what yeah. they think, you know? <laughs> Wait. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, is you Link's know. name really Link Link? I think they came back after and said that it was a joke or something. Okay. But they did there was an initial announcement that those were all their real names at one point i knew the mario i knew the mario brothers i mean they're they're the mario brothers Mm -hmm. yeah i would i would like them to come out one day and be like mario's real name isn't mario like he just he's just called mario because that's his last name right right what what would his name be i think his name was originally dave Greg, I was gonna say Greg. I think it was Dave, in the in original ju- Donkey Kong. Well, in Jump, it was called Jumpman. He was man just Jumpman. Yeah. In the original Donkey Kong. I don't think he had a name besides Jumpman. Yeah. Because wasn't it wasn't the game originally called Jumpman? Donkey Kong. Yes. Uh, no, I think that was the actual the first Mario. Yeah. Oh, the one where you. I just, think it was the Japanese name was forth. Jumpman. Yeah. Oh no. I, of like Mario One, or are you talking about the Mario where they like run back and forth, and like you can go from one side of the screen to the other side of the Mario screen? Mario Bros. Yeah, uh, I don't remember. But I thought I thought the original version of Donkey Kong was Jumpman. Can we look this up? Can we? This is something I'm actually curious. I want to know if this is true or not. See, Mario was a carpenter. He was a carpenter before he was a plumber. Yeah, oh, when okay. he like Mario was a carpenter in donkey kong okay yeah he was originally a carpenter but mario's had like 78 jobs so has he yeah 
what are some of the jobs he oh, had. Oh, okay. He was originally called Antonio. Antonio. Antonio Jumpman Mario. Antonio Mario. It's a Tony Mario. Hey, Tony. What was that supposed to be? It's like Tony. Um, he had a wife named Lady Julie. Then who the heck is he even trying to save? Daisy. Isn't he trying to Pauline. save? Pauline. Pauline's his daughter. Oh, so is Pauline who's in Donkey Kong then? Yeah. So it's not trying to save his like princess or anything like that. No. Oh wow, this is all interesting information. Well, Donkey Kong is his pet, and he abused his pet. Is this a, a theory or no. this is the story? This, this is the, the story. Echo. No, okay. no, well, uh, no. Donkey Kong was Mario's pet, and Mario abused him, and then Donkey Kong said, <laughs> and stole his daughter and jumped up a tower. No, is this true? Yes. I'm not sure if this is true, but did we find out what the original... Jumpman is Mario's father, according yeah, to this. Yeah, because Donkey Kong is Donkey Kong's grandpa. Cranky That's Kong. That's Cranky Kong. And then in, in the Donkey Kong after that, it's Donkey Kong Sr. Okay, but did we find out what the original name of the game was? Um, uh, it's looking like 1981 Donkey Kong. Oh, okay. Yeah, the original was Donkey Kong. Oh, the yeah. name was, is, of the character was just Jumpman, which I did not realize was Mario's father, like the current Mario's father. That's weird. I guess that makes sense then. Yeah. yeah. So Pauline is Mario's mom. And Jumpman is just the Japanese name for Mario. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. So what else do you want to know? About Mario? Sure. Not much. What other weird video game things can we talk about? Um. Well, so there's gonna be a live action Zelda, Legend mm. of Zelda. Well, excuse me, princess. D uh, that better not be a line in it. Uh they better put it. No, I mean they can put it in, but no. they can be like, oh, excuse me, princess. But no. it better not be. Excuse it me, be princess. No, excuse. if they do that, I'll be so upset. No. But who do you want to see play him? A nobody. You wanted to be a nobody. Yeah. I'm tired of seeing the same motherfuckers. I'm I don't want to see anybody actually. I like literally actively. It's not even like who are, like. Uh, there's nobody that would fit. Like no, I actively do not want to see anybody that's in the movies in playing that. I don't like. I'm sick of fucking Tom Holland. I'm sick of Zendaya. I'm sick of fucking Tom Hardy. I'm fucking sick of everybody that's in the movies right now. Like get another fucking actor. Jesus just, fucking Christ. Anybody named Tom. Just or Chris, for that matter. Get a different fucking person. Jesus Christ. Did you mean Tom Holland? He said Tom Holland first. I said Tom Holland and Tom Hardy. Oh, okay. Yeah, he said both. I mean, Tom Hardy is way, like, he's not as bad. He's not as bad. He kind of really picks picks and chooses his stuff, and he's a good actor. Yeah. I'll give him that. I did kind of just go off there, but I am... I am sick. Like, And I'm not even saying any of these people are bad actors. I, I'm not trying to say that. I just I'm sick of them like they don't they shouldn't be in every single fucking movie that no. discredits a lot. It That's discredits true, yeah. a lot. It discredits the movie itself. It discredits the actor and their ability. I, I don't enjoy it. Well, did I ever tell you my like the thing I wanted to do? Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we talked about this. Uh, so Liam, we're kidnapping Liam Neeson's kids. No, not, yep. no. <laughs> we're making Tooken. Tooken. <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, I think. That's the name I came up with. Tooken. It was Tooken. Yeah. Taked or took it, yeah. Took it. <laughs> um, but no, because like I went because one of my art degrees that we talked about was uh, in video production, and I wanted to like make movies. And one of the things I wanted to do if I was ever a producer or director or anything like that is I wanted to essentially make contracts with people. Like you'll get paid a million dollars to be in this movie. You're really skilled, but you cannot be in another movie for the next. 10 15 years yeah, that, yeah. i want you are a nobody i, I really I want to be nobody like, i want i want my character be to be connected to my character not connected to who you are i mean they have rules like that in the music business oh do they yeah um especially when it comes to festivals okay um like you're not allowed to play another show within certain months within certain miles around certain festivals because they don't want oh. to distract because like uh, this is this is my opportunity to yeah. see this person yeah i know and summer is, yeah i know here in wisconsin we have summer fest and Summerfest has really uh, big rules on that, especially for some of the more local 
talent that uh, goes to Summerfest is like you're not allowed to play bigger shows okay. within two months makes, of the the your date. That makes sense. But yeah, but I mean that's what so I would do. I feel like that's what the actors should have to go through. It's like yeah, you can be in this movie, especially a movie where you're gonna get paid two hundred and eighty three million dollars for. Okay, like you're gonna get that much money, and then like no, you don't get to act in another movie for five years at a very minimum. Yeah. And that that was that was what I I've always thought that way. If I were to ever have a studio, that's always what I wanted to do: pick someone who's absolutely a nobody, and then just but you can't act anymore for a long time. Um, but or you sp- forfeit your money, or you just start yeah. making thirty dollars an hour. Yeah. That's what the she if they're gonna do that much, like thirty dollars an hour. Yeah. I'd still act and be a famous actor for thirty dollars an hour. Cool. Yeah. Okay. But. Uh, speaking of that too, in the most recent episode, as of right now, that got released, we talked about John Malkovich, and his. Uh, it's called the so the movie that he directed that's coming out in a hundred years. Okay. I found out it's coming out November, twenty one fifteen. Uh, okay. But it's called One Hundred Years. But I didn't know this. It's sponsored and like presented by, uh, Louis the Thirteenth, the cognac that takes a hundred years. So that's kind of the the whole premise behind the fact that it's being released. I don't know what you're saying to me anymore. You know what Louis the 13th is? He was a king? No. That had like a hundred wives. The cognac. No, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. What's cognac? Uh, Like, I know it's an alcohol. Why are you reacting like that? That It's like you're just talking. Like, what are you talking about? I think it's really interesting that it's actually, the movie is being presented by uh, an uh, alcohol that takes a hundred years to distill and to produce. And so that's why the movies get. I found out why it's being released a hundred years from now, is because it's being put on by the alcohol. It's a publicity thing. Good for them, I guess. All right. I cool. doubt either of them are going to exist in a hundred years. I mean, if, if, because nothing will exist in a hundred years. That's, but, mm. I think Louis will still exist in a hundred years. Okay. And. Probably not. Okay. Good talk. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. Okay. What do you have? If you could have any pet in the world, what would you have? And now, like, you get a section of your house and or property where it would be, like, perfect conditions for this animal. Okay, like if you could just have like any animal in the entire world as a pet, what do you think you'd have? So there's some questions I have. Yeah. Is this thing going to like it's like, is it going to be a a true pet of mine? Like, will it have a connection to me no matter what the animal is? Well, I can't determine that. I don't know how you're going to treat this. pet. Well, but it's like, but is it something that's like absolutely never in the entire wildest stretch of the imagination ever been domesticated so like if i picked like a beluga whale is it still the possibility of this beluga whale like having a connection with me and like i don't know enough about beluga whales to know what kind of connection you could or could not have with them okay so that's up to you i guess it'd probably be either a pangolin a sloth or a raven okay so i i think uh i was thinking platypus See, I wouldn't want anything venomous. Yeah, I would. Well, I want to see how it works. It's only the males, right? I I don't remember which one, but it's I think like it's only the males. but it's like their dew claw. It's like the most useless claw yeah. on their entire body. Like everything about a pad a a a a, a pat, platypus is designed for them to not exist. Like it, they're they're just the worst, and they're awesome. So I would like I would like one as a pet. I'd like to see how that thing operates. I'd like to see what like the daily life of a platypus really is. I don't even know what they eat. Me neither. I don't know what they eat. <laughs> or like who eats them? Does anything eat them? That's the thing. And like if th- something does eat them, like, there's a reason for them to be venomous. But if nothing eats them, then there's no reason for them to be venomous. And that's the reason why they're one, they're one dew claw that is, like, way up here on their fucking weird arm. Well, 
like well, why that is like well, why no, it's useless. They could be venomous for hunting purposes for what they eat. Yeah, but I feel like that's why snakes like things don't necessarily. I mean, things do eat snakes, but snakes are not venomous to protect themselves. Snakes are venomous to eat. Yeah, but a snake is useless. A snake is a piece of rope that can move. That is that is a useless thing. It doesn't have hands. It doesn't have arms. It doesn't have feet. They do have arms and feet. Shut the fuck up. They're just they do have they have the bones. Snakes, they don't. Snakes have the bones for arms and feet. They're just inside their body. That doesn't get, that, that, <laughs> that doesn't mean that they have arms and feet. So they don't they're useless. They're useless animals. Okay. That's why. It's because they're fighting things that do have arms and feet. Like and they need something to be able to capture their enemy. And that's why they're venomous. But like a platypus, what do platypus eat? Like is it fish or is it wood? I don't they know eat why. a variety of insect larvae. Yappies? I don't even know what that is. Small fish and worms. And the one that I didn't know is spelled Y A B B I E S. Yibbies? I don't Y I? Y A. Y Yabbies. What's a Yabby? Let's look that up. Yeah, what's a Yabby? But then it's probably I like know. a small fish. But so I speaking know. of snakes though, this is one of my backyard pets. This is Garrison. Okay. It's Garrison. He's a little garter snake oh, that lives under It looks like a lobster. Way. It's a lobster? It looks like a lobster. It's like a, like a little crustacean type of deal? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you, you definitely don't need to be venomous for those things. Oh, okay. it's, it's smaller than I thought, actually. It looks more like a crawfish. Oh. Crayfish, however people want to sure, pronounce it. Whatever. It depends on where you live. So, yeah. Um, And then... But my question about platypus is that they are one of two kinds of mammals that lay eggs. Well, there's more. No. There's echidnas. Right, but there's echidna, there's right. like four or five of them. There's four or five different types of echidnas that lay eggs. But that's why I said it's one one of two types of animals or mammals that lay and eggs. I think there's at least three. There's an echidna, a platypus, and there's another one. I always forget what the name of it is. I don't think there is, but can you look that up too? But what I want to know is do they the lay echidna. eggs like birds? Actually, or this is another question. I don't even know how birds lay eggs. Do chickens have wieners? No, birds. Bir so birds do but not. But ducks have dicks, right? Like ducks rape things. Right, like a duck. Like yeah. so, not all birds are dickless. Well, I, I suppose, but the typical... but like chickens, like so, like they like chickens, right? Like they 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 lay babies. They have babies, like a fish they has just babies, lay babies yeah. right? Like where the female comes up and shoots a bunch of eggs out and then leaves, and then the male comes out and just comes all over the place, and then now it's fertilized. That is not no, that is incorrect. Is that how fish do it? That's not how chickens do it. That's what I'm asking. Is like, oh, is that I how you were, chickens do it? I thought you were it? stating as a fact chickens no, that's have what I'm asking. babies the same way that fish have babies. I was asking no, 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 how no, no. fish do it they, with eggs. Uh, so birds, most birds, because they have a quaxel, so most, or whatever it's called, right? Most, what are their quaculas? It's like one hole. Yes, it's one hole that what's all it their called? Poop and cloaca. I don't know what it's called. Cloaca. 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 Yeah, but all their their like urine and their poop, all of it mixes yeah. together and all comes out of one one hole. Yeah. But uh, essentially, birds. Male birds will just spray their seed all over the place, and hopefully it gets to around the hole, and then it goes up inside and fertilizes so they can lay egg fertilized eggs. So they because do birds it will the, lay the, so they do it before the eggs are laid. Yes, okay. and before and I believe they do it before the eggs are even developed because birds will develop non fertilized eggs. All right. So, but that's why I want to know is like, can will platypus and echidna also produce unfertilized eggs? And then are they very similar like can i crack it open and cook it and what is it like what would a platypus egg or is it like a snake egg because snakes also lay eggs and those eggs are really soft snakes have two penises cool yep are they both used for the same thing yes. or do they have two different functions no they're both used for the same things 
most snakes mate inside of a, in a pile of other of a bunch of snakes. So they gotta have two penises. So they just have essentially two penises to try to attach just themselves to the female holes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Yep. So for mammals that can lay eggs, it's platypus and four different kinds of echidna. See, that's yeah. it. You're wrong. So there's a bunch of different echidnae. Also, platypuses do not lay unfertilized eggs. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. So. No. Breakfast platypus <laughs> egg yolks. No and <laughs> no platypus <laughs> omelets for you. Or, or, I mean that's fair. I still want one as a pet though. Okay. I still want to deal with one as a pet. Yeah. Because like they, I, what are, they live in like weird swampy areas, right? Rivers, I think. Where do they live? Do they live in like Tasmania, Australia? I thought, or New Zealand, whatever. That's, that's what I just said. It, I don't think that's similar. East coast of Australia. Okay. Um, I'm surprised because I said pangolin. I'm surprised you didn't, wouldn't say pangolin. Why? I barely know what a pangolin is. Oh, uh, it's like I know what it is. Don't try to explain it to me. No, no, no. I'm not going to try but to explain I, it to you. I'm going to tell you the full name of a pangolin, and then maybe this will tell you why. The full name of a pangolin is pangolin sandshrew. Oh yeah. Okay. So your favorite Pokemon sandshrew is a pangolin. Yeah. So that's why I'm surprised you wouldn't have picked one. My favorite Pokemon is Sandrew. My favorite animal is not a pangolin. Well, but your favorite animal is a wolf. Yeah. So why wouldn't you pick a wolf? Because that's just a dog. It's not just a dog. It, it, it's a wolf. It's just a wild dog. Yeah. You know what a platypus is not? A dog. Yep. <laughs> it's not really anything, is it? Exactly. It's a platypus. It's like a bunch of different things. That's why I want to kind of deal with it. I don't even like I can kind of picture what a platypus looks like, but at the same time I feel like it's very wrong. Like if you drew it like romanticized or cartoony compared to what a like how big like, are their legs? Like or do they are they or do they just have like I think their legs are probably about that like long. Duck things just kind of attached to their body that allow them to swim. They're like about that long. What? Yes, so they got so they got little duck things that allow them to swim. They ain't got legs. They have, they do have legs. They're, they're like, not very long. If no, they they're not. Legs. I'm going like this. this no, is, less. Yeah. I would say they're about that See, long. They do this. I don't think so. They, all they do is this, and they just move. They why just you, got flippers. Why do not on your nipples? This is really weird. Flipper nipples. Yeah, flipper nipples. Huh? Flipper nipples. Flipper nipples. Flipper yeah. nipples. Um, because that's just where naturally my hands go. I can't really. Just naturally your hands go that's really okay all right i don't know so what else you got um uh we talked about the platypus how, how much how, how long have we been going 54 okay so what month is it April. April. We should have a new sumo coming up. New sumo. The new grand sumo. Oh. Here, let me look up when the new grand sumo. Grand sumo. I mean, April ends in like four days. By the way. It does. Oh, so it. I think it's going on right now. No, 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 no. The new one starts in on the twelfth, May twelfth. Grand okay. sumo. Cool. I'm really big into sumo. Did you know that? Did you know this about me? I think you may have told me that one time, but no, I didn't know this about you. Yeah. Grand uh sumo wrestling is really it's really cool. It's really it's really interesting. Uh I like watching it. Um would you take it up? Would I take up sumo wrestling? Yeah. No. You want to do well, you want to try sumo wrestling us for an episode each other? I mean, I'd destroy you. Would you? Yes. I'm not sure about that. Well, I know the rules. Okay. I'll, I'll learn the rules. Okay. I still think I would destroy you. Mm. No. Way. But, um. yeah. Have you ever watched sumo wrestling? I have watched sumo wrestling, yes. Like a real tournament or anything like that? I've watched real fights. I don't know if it's been a tournament, but I've watched actual sumo fights, whatever you want to call them. Sumo bouts, what are they called? Yeah, a bout. Yeah. A tournament, I guess. It depends. It depends on how you're watching it. 
But uh, yeah, there's uh, the new t- tournament's gonna start in a couple weeks. I'm 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 excited for that. I'm hoping my boy Wakataka Kage is uh, in the tournament. He's been out. He's had knee surgery a couple years ago, so he's been out of the last couple of tournaments. And he was like one way, one win away from being Yokozuna too. So, yeah, darn. Yeah, Yokozuna is the highest level you can get to. Okay. And once you're a Yokozuna, you can never not be a Yokozuna. Okay. Yokozuna cool. is a frog from One Piece. Come on. Even I know that. Am I saying the wrong word now? <laughs> no, I don't know. That is the frog from One Piece, though, in Water 7. Yeah. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're telling us, so you, you tell me if it's accurate information or not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, I think they did kind of make him like a sumo type thing. Yeah, he he was, was sumo wrestling a train. Yeah, he was a sumo <laughs> wrestling the train. <laughs> Um, um, well, uh, my favorite thing about sumo wrestling, the, my my, the, my absolute favorite thing about sumo wrestling, the uniforms. No, it's the fact that as a sumo wrestler, they are athletes, right? And they are modern athletes. But Japan is a country so rooted in tradition right that like they still uphold their tradition so it's super funny to see the referee in a an outfit that is probably 3000 years old right just being super professional about everything that he's doing and like super slow and like they got to do uh they do like a certain hand movements before they accept their money and everything like that. And like, they got to say certain things. It's like a weird prayer and everything. But like, like I said, the referee's coming over doing it. Like, you know, he, he's got to step a certain amount of distance before he can take his next step. Right. And then the sumo wrestler just gets done and he's sweaty. He doesn't fucking care. He's just, like, and he just goes and it's, I love the juxtaposition of like a modern athlete next to like the most traditional bullshit that you could think of it's my favorite part in all of it especially since they can't celebrate that's also a cool thing that's also an interesting thing yeah i don't think any athlete should be allowed to celebrate just knock it off you did your job good job yeah kind of it's like my accountant will file someone's taxes and be like (gasps) yeah he just tea bags the IRS. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, if my account is celebrated after getting done with my taxes, I'd probably like them more. You know, <laughs> I feel like actually more people should celebrate when they complete their jobs. Yeah. Maybe that's what should happen. Instead yeah. of athletes not celebrating, how about everybody start celebrating? Right. Yeah. It's kind of like I don't necessarily like clap at for performance all that often. Because I'm like, it was good. You did a good job. But, I mean, you did your job. You did what you were here to do. I don't applaud my dentist. As a musician, I hate that. I hate, hate that for you. Hate you what? Should, you should applaud your dentist. Yeah. No, like, <laughs> applauding. Just Not getting applause. Applaud, well, I mean, I will. Applaud everything. I will. No. But I don't, like, if I don't feel like it at times, it's like, I don't, I don't feel that, like, obligatory. If like, I'm on stage thing. and I did a good job and absolutely no one claps, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, I want to do do a whole show where no one claps. Just, you just like get all these people, and it's like hardcore fans. They're singing along. We got to do this. We got to get a whole set of people who are hardcore fans of a band. Get them to go to a concert, sing along to every word to every song, and then after every song, there's just no one claps or cheers. I feel like that's actually a lot. That that's that's actually a lot more shows than you would like to imagine. So there's a lot of shows that where that does happen, dude. I, I mean. Yeah, I mean, I I hate saying it like this, but like, when it, the less heavy things go, the less involved a crowd gets, in my opinion. Like, it gets really weird, and especially like even in the emos, like nobody wants a mosh pit in an emo scene. So like in the real emo scenes, like it's just a bunch of people standing there. What? They're not even like dancing or swaying or anything. It's just they're just standing there. Okay. But I mean, also, mind you, too, 
one of my other art degree was music performance and i still have this philosophy and i did perform i performed music and stuff like that so yeah and just again you just did your job i appreciate it i did i'm here to see you that is i'm i'm supporting what you do see but that's that's slightly different that's slightly different like a band like a lot of times that's not a job like unless you're getting like you were hired and paid for it like that's not a job it's just something you're doing to hope to get a job it's like an interview right like this isn't the military where like no you signed up for that and you're getting paid for it every day die like but but like you know the some of these bands they don't make a profit until somebody signs them they might make 20 bucks from the bar maybe more maybe less but like a band is kind of voluntary vol- like voluntarily yeah. vo- vo- voluntary work that's true right so like if you like it like it's not just their job like they should be praised because it's not just their job they actually came out of their way to do this to perform for you that's true good point I'll clap for all unpaid musicians. There you go. And buy their merch. <laughs> yeah, buy their merch. Yeah. I'd honestly rather buy merchandise from like local bands and stuff like that than I would buy from big big bands. Cuz also, I mean, I also other than this is probably the flashy shirt you've ever seen me have, but I don't wear anything that's like graphic or anything like that. Everything I wear is just plain colors usually or a pattern. The only thing I ever wear that has a logo on is my Zelda hats or my two rights make a wrong hat. Um, I, don't know, I like band merch. Yeah. I, I mean, I see a lot of shows. Um, I've seen a lot of shows that I don't even remember seeing. Um, so that's why I like some of the merch. Um, Especially when it's the merch that specifically displays dates and oh, okay. uh, the tour dates and stuff like that. Those, th- in my opinion, I, I I really, when a band has a tour shirt, that's what I would prefer to get okay. because it's it tells me when I got to see them. Um, you know, because like you know, for instance, between me and you, like Coe and Cambria, we've seen them together like four or five times. Yep. Uh, and that doesn't include the times that I've seen them separately without you. Right. Um, but, uh, you know, looking back on it, like I don't have any tour memorabilia from a Coheed show. You just have, you have something signed for them, don't you? I have things signed from them. Yeah, I got uh, some of their comics signed from them. That was from Warp Tour. Okay. Um, see, that one I remember, yeah. right? Like that I remember because it was like a very specific thing. But the other, But the other times we've seen them, like I actually don't remember like what, like – Obviously, like, we've seen them perform Welcome Home, right, and, like, in Keeping Secrets. But, like, other than that, like, I don't actually remember why they were touring or what tours they were on, you know, like, what they were trying to pr- uh, promote, what album they were trying to promote. I don't remember what they that was. So, I, you know, I know I've seen them, um, but I I don't remember what tour that was. So, I, I that's why I like buying band memorabilia. And, like, even with some of the local shows, I you know uh i bought the hat from this one band and i was like the the main reason i did it is because i really enjoyed them and like i kind of needed to like for lack of a better term i needed a reminder that i enjoyed them you know like because like they're like they're a i just wanted to like out of all the people that i can see there's so many people that i enjoyed and i don't remember who they are i just don't remember who they are because like they just don't exist in my brain anymore so i try i try to get some sort of memorabilia to remember those types of things makes sense <coughs> yeah i mean i just have the stuff from the coheen camera concerts i have the like level that we were like the lanyards and then i got my zelda hat signed by uh my breath of the wild hat signed by the whole band mm-hmm. which at the time breath of the wild was actually claudio sanchez's favorite video game when it came out 
That was all he was playing when it came out. Mm -hmm. Sounds cool. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't think I have anything else for today. I don't know. Say something. I don't I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say either. Fuck you, Rock. <laughs> <laughs> and on that, <laughs> thanks uh, for tuning in. And uh, this has been another episode of Two Rights to Make a Wrong. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, notification, share, comment, do all that kind of stuff. And also we release new episodes every every other Wednesday at 10 a.m. Bye.